All right, I am cutting um, VTX antennas right now. So these guys, this is a tiny little shorty one, another one, another one. Um, they're all basically the same idea is that the, these are all quarter wavelength, um, meaning the full wavelength, the 5.8, is four times this length. So we cut them to, I think it's a 12.9 a to 14 millimeters about. If you want to be safe, cut a little bit like closer to 14 and then you can slowly clip them down to tune them until you get really good reception. But you don't go any lower than 13 millimeters. So you just take like half a millimeter off a time and you'll, 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 you'll find it, the right spot. Um, the theory is that there's, it's supposed to be 12.9 but I think the propagation through the material might be slightly slower, so it might need a little bit more length. So anyway, to do it, you can make short ones like this, which just only have the active element of about um, 13 millimeters. The proper way to do it is you got to make sure that the shield is a certain length. And I'm not really sure of the calculation on that, but what I do is I just compare some pre-made pre ones that I have. And what I'll do is I'll take the plain FR Sky antenna wire, which is like this stuff. You can get it on Amazon. It has a UFL end and um, a tuned length for 2.4 gigahertz. And then again, this length here is critical. So um, it's almost like it's almost like a fourth of the length. The active element is a fourth of the total length about. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. If you look at this, it kind of looks like it could be. So let's just go to like 55, which would be about four times that. And yeah, I think it is. I think basically the active element needs to be about one fourth of the total length. So um, you could probably do that math if you wanted to, but I just kind of cut them total the total length to be the right length about which is like that looking pretty good and then I'll take my little calipers and I'll set this to a little under 14 right around 13 millimeters that looks good I can compare that with one of these pre-made ones and that looks pretty close. That looks pretty good. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set um, it down and I need like a, like a pen. Very carefully mark on the insulation where you want the insulation to stop. It's not really sticking. This, permanent, this marker doesn't really stick. And then I take an X-Acto blade like that. And let's make this so you can see my table. So what I've done is I've marked it. You guess probably didn't see this because the camera wasn't lined up. So I just kind of lined it up with my calipers here, which I've already gauged. And then I marked it to here. And now I'm going to take my knife and put it on the mark. And I'm just going to roll it. And I'm not going to go too hard because this stuff is really easy to slice through. So now. I've, uh, this isn't going to focus so close, is it? It's not going to focus. Uh, you can't really see, but there's a slight slit here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to try to just whittle this back. I'm going to fillet it. And now you can see that this part is coming right off. And I don't know if it's able to be seen on camera, but this is metal here, um, shielding. So we don't need the shielding. Um, so, oh, it looks like when I rolled it, I actually cut through the shielding just barely. So that whole shielding is just going to slide right off. And this is done. That's it. This is done. So I'm going to send this to Ryan, my buddy, because he needs a spare. And uh, I'm also going to send them these little shorty ones. The little shorty ones might work. Um, 
this will definitely work. So, Ryan, try them all out and see what they see how they work for you. Okay, I'm gonna send them all in an envelope right now.